Well, hello Amsterdam. We just took the exit and my favorite Empire Zone city on the hill, the city of abandoned factories. It's funny, just when you took the exit they had a bunch of rental spaces to rent your junk storage, locker rooms, whatever they call them. The Erie Canal. Why would you want to rent a space in a brand new steel building outside of town when you can rent the whole building probably for a dollar a year? Yeah, here's downtown Amsterdam. No, this is Boston Spa. No, this is Amsterdam, Dave. Boston Spa is next to Saratoga Springs, which is 20 or so miles up the road. Oh, Beautiful Amsterdam. Amsterdam, New York. Opened all the Amsterdam Free Library, probably built by Andrew Carnegie. 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 <laughs> Rumbling up Church Street in my V8 Grand Prix. City Hall. This one's City Hall. I think this one's City Hall. City Hall. Right across the street from the big old factory. Big factories, and they're not having anything to put inside them, like workers finishing products. That's what they call it, finishing a product. You take a raw material and you turn it into something sellable and useful. Crazy, huh? Clock tower on that building, multiple stories, three, four, five, six stories. Smokestacks, shovel that coal. One factory on top of the other. Must have been lots of property disputes back then to decide who owned what little patch of land. Walter Elmwood Museum of the Mohawk Valley. Flooring Authority. Things have changed in Amsterdam. Crazy, huh? All of Amsterdam's finest citizens are buried right up this hill in the cemetery. More factories, more factories, more factories. Window walls, smokestacks sticking out the window. They're huge, millions of square feet. Pitched roofs, flat roofs, trees growing on the roofs. For sale. Dunkin' Donuts, where's the police station? Right across the street, like when you take the exit on 20 to go to Nassau, Lebanon Valley. 229 a gallon, Supreme 286. Diesel varies considerably. This place looks like it's out of business. Ethanol free gas is back. There it is, Amsterdam at its worst. And then Amsterdam up the hill at its finest. Rumble, rumble. Hear that rumble? Didn't Anne Frank live in Amsterdam? I don't think it Amsterdam, was here. yeah. Amsterdam, in Europe. 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 So somebody came here from Europe. They called the place Amsterdam. Just a little hick town in the woods and built it into this booming factory town a hundred years ago and now what they need here is a good prison. People steady jobs for all the drug dealing that goes around, goes on around here. Okay, not much else to see. We're on the outskirts in pretty part of Amsterdam. No drug dealers here. Fill her up. I haven't shown one gas fill up on this whole trip because I gotta lean down on my hands and knees pretty much because the gas filler is so low and some of these stations don't have a lock built into the handle. We're filling up with non-ethanol at 285.9 per gallon, which is kind of high priced. But then they overtax you here in New York and non-ethanol is fuel system friendly. I just read an article in the GTO magazine, smoke signals, exactly 20 gallons. I wonder how many miles we've gone. I put seven in down the road. Oh yeah. Splurse, splash, splurse.
And I guess we'll call it full. 19.9. How many miles have I done? I'll check it and let you know in a minute. You can figure out the price per liter if you live in Spain or Italy or anywhere in Europe. But I guess it's cheap. It was even cheaper. It still cost me 56 American dollars. To fill her up and 480 miles on almost 27 gallons of gas. And then she's full. Then you have to take off 480, take off 50 miles because the odometer's fast. Oh, paper bag. If you want a receipt, this one asks you to get one second to respond if you want a receipt. So 480 minus 50, 430 divided by 27, and there's your fuel mileage. 430 divided by 27, B, 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 B. What do you want from me? 480 minus 10% is 50, which is 430 miles divided by, what did I just fill up? They didn't give me a receipt. Gives you a split second to answer the question. 19.9, 20 gallons plus seven at the last station. Or maybe it was six. I think it was six gallons at the last station. Maybe I miscalculated. 10 gallons, who knows. This one shows 15.9 miles per gallon. I've been getting a consistent 17. So I wonder why I'm down. Maybe I miscalculated. Maybe I put it in six gallons. Oh well, we're off to have dinner.